and KTV's Matt Breen joins us tonight with more on flood models that city leaders in North Sioux City shared with residents Monday night. Matt, what can you show us? So Jessica, what you're looking at behind me tonight, this is the South Dakota Flood Information System website. It was referenced during Monday night's North Sioux City City Council meeting. So many residents have asked why that temporary sandbag levee was built right across I-29 and Highway 105, diverting floodwaters from the Big Sioux River to McCook Lake, flooding dozens of homes along North Shore Drive and Penn Rose Drive. Well, a long-standing flood mitigation plan called for that levee to be built at the McCook Lake exit on I-29 to prevent floodwaters from the Big Sioux River from causing flooding further south. Now, a timeline of events shared by Governor Christy Nome's office shows that I-29 was closed at 6 p.m. on Sunday, June 23rd. Then 40 DOT employees worked both on the levee, on a traffic plan, and also dropped off barricades and flagging flooded areas. Now, what we're looking at now is a model of the impact of the flooding of the Big Sioux River on the area with that levee in place. You can see it here. Here is North Shore Drive. Here is Penrose Drive. You can clearly see they are underwater. That is what we all saw happen more than one week ago. But I also want to show you what would have happened had this levee not been in place. Change the screen. Here is North Shore Drive. Let's do that again. And here we go. North Shore Drive, Penrose Drive. Both are still underwater. I want you to look to the south, and this is without the levee in place. Those floodwaters from the Big Sioux River would have traveled further south. You can see the city of North Sioux City is entirely underwater without that levee in place. Now, Cody Benson is a member of the North Sioux City City Council. He told residents Monday night there weren't a lot of options available here. In fact, he said very candidly that there isn't a plan in place to prevent flooding on either North Shore Drive or Penrose Drive. Jessica. All right, Matt, thank you for that continuing coverage as we continue to cover the efforts moving forward in Siouxland on the flood.